What is up, good people of the internet? I'm Hera, I play guitar, and I just got a really cool shipment of a guitar that I ordered uh, December, I think, or, you know, the week it was announced. I was told by my Sweetwater rep that it wouldn't get here until like August, September, but it's here. So we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna play it, and uh, I'll talk more when I have the guitar in my hands. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's in a big box. It's in a big box. This one's bigger than I am. Alright, we're gonna unbox and uh, see what we got. Uh, I'll give you a hint. I love rock and roll. Got candy, sweet water. All right, we got an Epiphone case here. I'm gonna unbox this now. probably tell by the gig bag. Joan Jet, Epiphone, Olympic Special. So stoked. I remember being 14 or 15 years old. I don't remember exactly when her signature Melody Maker came out. I was dreaming about it. One day I would get it. Um, I ended up getting it in this past year uh, on Craigslist because they, they're hard to come by. Uh, and they're sold at a premium now. So the second this was announced, you know, it's a cheaper price point, Epiphone, uh, different than the Mel Melody Maker. It's an Olympic special. Hers was an Epiphone in Sunburst, I believe. Um, but she outfitted it in white to match her Melody Maker, which is really cool. The second this was announced, I knew I had to get it. I wasn't gonna be like my 14 year old self wishing one day I'm gonna do it now. Uh, let's get it out of the gig bag and uh, see what it looks like. This gig bag's really cool and sturdy too. I like it a lot. It's already super light, you can tell. I'm a huge Joan Jett fan. Love playing her songs on guitar. Love her music. So kind of a no-brainer and here we go finally exposed got the sweet water inspection oh yeah this is a nice guitar super lightweight rat tail piece I don't have any guitars with a rat tail this is a nice guitar, super lightweight, wrap tail, uh, pickup based on the Velvet Hammer. I believe her Melody Maker has Allen Echo 3s. Um, so this is really cool to see. Uh, speed knob with the grip tape, that's a signature Joan Jett thing. Kill switch um, for, I believe she uses it when she's singing. Uh, you know, I'm obviously gonna be using it, you know, to be annoying, cause if it's there you have to use it. <laughs> um, this is really cool though. 
Uh, the neck is nice and like chunky. It's not, it's not super fat, but it's, there's substance there, you know? You got the headstock, Epiphone. Kind of looks like a black heart. Uh, Might have been a little tongue in cheek joke there. Uh, but I believe the Melody Maker has a similar headstock, very thin, um, with sort of the, what would you call that? The heart shape. Joan Jet signature on the back. Very cool. Uh, her Melody Maker has it on the truss rod cover. Um, it's super satiny, which is interesting because the Melody Maker is more of a worn finish. Um, so it's almost a little glossier. I don't know if that's the right word, but this feels like super satiny. In fact, I have her Melody Maker. I might as well compare them. Okay, so here we have the brand new Olympic Special by Epiphone. And here we have the 2008 model, I believe, Gibson Melody Maker. Um, compare the headstocks. The necks are very similar. I would almost say the Gibson Melody Maker is a little thinner. Uh, this definitely feels hefty, like it needs to be worn a little more, while this one is already sort of in a worn white. Uh, no wrap tail, has a tone, volume, kill switch, Alnico 3, while this has, I believe, just a volume and a kill switch and a wrap and a velvet hammer type. Uh, you know, these are very similar models. Uh, they're really high, higher output meant for gainy type of stuff, but, um, you know, different strokes for different folks. Uh, so let's, uh, let's plug this, uh, Epiphone Joan Jett Olympic Special in and see how it sounds. Just before anyone asks, um, I'm playing this through a Marshall Studio Jubilee 25 watt head that's going through a Marshall Origin 2x12 horizontal cabinet. Little bit of drive on the on the head, but most of the drive's coming from the Electro Harmonics East River drive. Uh, volume all the way up. Tone is about one o'clock and the drive's actually all the way down. So a lot of the dirt's actually just coming from volume push in air um so let's play some jones jet songs on the epiphone joan jet olympic special signature guitar <laughs>
So it does clean up a little bit. This guitar is made for dirt. That's it, it's a rock and roll machine. Unless you're doing this. more can you say just use your ears it's a great guitar budget friendly get it if you can peace <laughs>